Hey, Maximizers, is chivalry dead? And this one right here, we're going to find out, is chivalry dead? Um, no, it's not. All right, we'll find out. Hey, Maximizers, thanks for joining us today. We're talking about chivalry. Is it dead? And we're just going to share from our perspective. Yes, we are a married couple. My name is Milton. This is my beautiful wife, Sherry. And we've been together for almost 22 <laughs> years. Actually, 22 years coming up here. Been together 20 years, married almost 20 years. But I uh, wanted to talk about chivalry because I think it's one of those things that we take for granted in our culture today. And I'm not just talking about the young people to the old people, uh, but I think it's just something taken for granted that it's not dead. And from our perspective, I don't believe it's dead. Do you? And there's a it's couple. Maybe starving a little bit, but. It could be starving <laughs> a little bit. Um, so I think one of the things that I did, I remember seeing my father do, was actually just simply opening up the car door for my mother. And how does that make you feel when I do that for you? Um, now I, it makes me feel like you love me and you care about me. You want to take care of me. Um, when we first started dating, I was like, I can open my own door. What's wrong with you? It's not, I'm not weak. But now I, I understand that it's more just out of respect and, and honoring, um, you know, our relationship and, and who you are to me. So I really appreciate it now. And uh, I know there are times when I'll get to the door first and I'll just stand there. I used to laugh at your mom when she did that. <laughs> She'd stand there just being cute, waiting. <laughs> And so now I do that, and um, I just remember when little Milton was, you know, three, four years old, he, we'd go out to the car to go to school or to do something, and he would always open the door for me. And I just thought it was so cute, he could barely, you know, get out, <laughs> but right. he would always do that for right. me. Um, and he still does to this day, and gets mad at me if I open the doors myself, so I, it's it's appreciated, and, and yeah. And I think not only does that, but it allows me to say, you know what, I appreciate you and I love you. And it's just not a car. It could be a, a door to a building or the house or it could be. It's really another another word for it. It's just being kind to another person, right? It's being thoughtful and putting that person first. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if you t adopt that same philosophy in any relationship, whether it's marriage or dating or in the office place or in your business, that you think about the other person first, you will have so much impact on the long-term scale than you can ever imagine. Um, because really it is. It's putting yourself first, not making you, oh, you know, like, don't, don't ever think I have to do something. I think yeah. I get to do this. And... Well, you know, the other things that you do for me are, you know, if we just go to the store for something little or whatever, and it, you know, something obviously that I can carry, but you'll take the bags, you know, I, I don't know if you even realize that, but that's something that you do as well. Um, just, it makes me feel loved. Yeah. It does. That's good. That's good to hear. And it's just being thoughtful. I mean, just, I, I, I've seen my father, you know, walk on the left side if you're walking on a sidewalk it's like having the guy walk on the outside or the one closest to the street um instead of having the female walk i mean that's just the little things right it's like in case a, a car jumps a curb i'd rather be hit by the car instead of you or protect you or push you out of the way versus you being taken the brunt of that right. it's just simple things grabbing Make a bag sure you got some life insurance but i'm just... yeah we're, we're i think we're covered okay yeah. <laughs> Um, so she's going to be living good. Uh, anyways. Um, so just, just think about that guys. Um, guys be the man and being part of being a man is loving your spouse as a husband and a wife. Um, and if you're not married, just love the other person, be kind to the other person, be thoughtful towards the other person. And, uh, there's so many, so many benefits that'll go along with that. And if we haven't made ourselves clear, chivalry is not dead. Might be a little weak, but it's not dead. Tried it today, right? Just try it. Yep. Just try it. It's worth it. You don't have to go. And, and women don't bring up that what he hasn't done or what he should be doing. He got one day at a time. And if you need to nudge him, as have him show the watch watch his video. Have him watch it. Right. Uh, open the door for your woman. One thing, guys. Open the door. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys, uh, hope this helps you guys today. Um, please uh, just understand that our heart is hope that you maximize any given moment in your life towards success. And I include your relationships. And until then, we'll talk to you guys soon. God bless.